Louisiana. Saving taxpayer money, protecting our waters from the spill, and enhancing the environment. Sound like a pretty good idea, right? Well, it's happening right now on an island near Miami. Our Jeff Burnside takes us there to show us a new solar power installation that may someday be common for all of us. Over pristine waters in Biscayne National Park, they used to haul 1,500 gallons of fuel twice a month to this island, Adams Key, to power the buildings here that house the park rangers' families. Are you excited? Yeah, we're really excited. Melissa Stack lives here. Her husband is one of the rangers. See, they love the pristine waters, the easy breeze, paradise, except for generators blare 24-7 and often break down, leaving them powerless, no air conditioning. Not having the generator will make it a little bit better paradise. And does it ever uh, kick off or is it unreliable? Yeah, sometimes it can be. Sun shining. We're putting out 487 volts of uh, DC voltage uh, right now up on this rooftop. Ed Strobel and his crew are installing solar tiles that look like regular roof tiles. Solar tile is basically a roof in itself that generates electricity. Instead of putting a lot of panels up here, which are more susceptible to hurricanes and are, uh, don't look as nice as solar tile. Strobel is a solar pioneer. He first upgrades the building's efficiency, cutting power use by 60%. It's federal stimulus money, $410,000. Taxpayers recoup the investment in seven years, save $60,000 every year after. We are the Sunshine State, and we should be powering the Sunshine State with sunshine. The people in the Parks Department see this. They're in a beautiful sunny area, and they're going to be powering this little bit of the Sunshine State with pure sunshine. Biscay National Park leaders love it. It is absolutely close to our mission. I think um, it takes us just a step closer to being able to, you know, to provide for the best Biscayne that, that anyone can have. They can flick the switch and go all solar, no longer relying on these yellow pipelines here to bring the diesel fuel to the tanks. They hope to replicate the solar idea to Elliott Key to the north, but the question of money becomes the big issue there. On Adams Key, Jeff Burnside, NBC Miami.